In this video, we're going to talk about the selection tool, how you can select items, multiple items, rotate them, uh, you know, and increase and decrease the size of them. So uh, very simple to do. As you can see, when we select an object, uh, we have this bounding box here. So I can select this. I can select the text here. I can select uh, this image over here. And we see that bounding box around it. So let's go over the tools real quick with it. So if you're wanting to grow and shrink the item, you can see in the, the bottom right here, if we go ahead and click and hold, uh, that is changing our size. All right. Now, if you take a look over here at the lock, the lock just means that it's going to constrain proportions. So uh, as you can see, when I grow the B out like this, uh, you know, it, you know the, the width and the height of the item change within proportion to each other. If I uncheck the lock here, now I have free range of movement with this, and now I can grow and shrink it as much as I I need. Okay, so that's what uh, that's what that does. Now an, another tip or trick is if if you actually have this going right here, if you hold the shift button down, it automatically snaps it two proportions. So you can see that uh, even though I have the lock unlocked, my proportions are still the same if I hold the shift button down. Now the top right here is the rotation. So if I go ahead and rotate this image, you can see that it's rotating on the axis. Okay. And if I let go, that means it's staying in that position, but you notice that that rotation handle now has went back to that top right position. So uh, keep that in mind when you are rotating. Now, how do you select multiple items? Well, uh, a couple ways is if you have the, uh, if, if you left click and hold, you can drag this across. And even though I'm not selecting the entire thing, um, you know, whatever that bounding box was touching, it will pick up. So that's how I have multiple shapes selected there. Okay. And then the other way to do it is if you hold the shift button down. So if I'm going to hold the shift button down and left click and hold the shift button down again while I'm clicking over here, it has now encompassed both of those uh, items there. Now, of course, the, the red X here will delete uh, whatever is selected. So if I go ahead and click that, that's how I can remove uh, the item as well. Um, but if I go ahead and undo that, I mean, of course, the other way to uh, select it and, um, you know, delete it is, you know, hit the backspace key or the delete key will uh, we'll delete that. So that's how you can select, delete, rotate, uh, and change the proportions. In another video, we're going to show you how you can use what we call as snap rotate. So if you need to rotate it in a certain direction, uh, it will snap rotate. So that's going to be the next video on this. So uh, stay tuned for it.